this your video now, then? Is that your video now? Okay, hello! I'm ready for a post-breakup makeover. Single Molly is back and ready. Okay, we haven't had Single Molly on this channel for a while, but she's back. She's here and she's here to stay for probably a very long time, okay? <laughs> you know, honestly, have you gone through a breakup if you don't give yourself a makeover? Serious question. I feel like it's like step one post-breakup, cry and eat chocolate. Step two, get out of bed and give yourself a makeover. We've got the post-breakup bangs happening and honestly, I'm here for it. And now I'm just gonna like play around with my clothes, uh, show you guys some things that I've recently bought, the vibes that I'm going for and just like have a time, you know? I'm basically just going to be trying on clothes and talking to you about how I'm feeling about my life right now. And if that seems like something you wanna be a part of, girl, grab your matcha. Sorry about that, had to take a phone call, very important. It's about my condo renovations, things that are moving along. I will be doing an update video in the next like two weeks or a week or so um, about accessible appliances and the hell of a journey that has been. So stay tuned if that interests you. But today is all about breakups and fashion. Uh, one of those things I love, the other thing I'm just dealing with. That's today. I also wanna thank ThreadUp for sponsoring this video. One of my fashion goals, I have a lot of fashion goals for the year ahead. One of them being is to shop more sustainably. That means shop for more sustainable brands and shop in more sustainable ways. A really great sustainable way to shop is thrifting. It is something that like two years ago, Molly would have been like, mm -mm, that is not my thing uh, because it stressed me out. And I feel like honestly, thrifting is literally like a skill. The more you do it, the better you get at it. Like every, every thread up haul I do, I'm like, this is my best one yet. Like every single time. And it's not because thread up gets better, it's because I just get better at figuring out how to thrift, what I'm looking for, what I want, keywords to search for. You've got to save those sizes, girl. You've got to favorite things to keep them all in one concise place. Like there's a trick to it. They also have this section where you can like shop the look. So there's lots of little tricks and tips you can use. And there's tons of videos on YouTube about thrifting and sharing thrift tips. So I'll leave it to the thrift queens to let you guys know the real tips because I am nowhere near a thrift queen yet. But um, you can check out like best thrifting tips and tricks and there's tons of content. They've also offered the best deal yet, okay? If you use code MOLLY at checkout for your first thread up order, you get up to not 30, not even 50, 60% 60 off. They have over 40,000 brands. They have new product daily. Buying thrifted over buying new reduces your carbon footprint by 82%. That's wild. It's also a great way to sell your clothes. Like if you're doing a closet clean out and you want to recoup some cash, you can ship them off your clothes and they will help you sell them. Fantastic. It's a super curated store. So you're getting like really great stuff and they let you know ahead of time, like what condition it's in and all the deets. You guys like look at these overalls. So here's the thing. I feel like a lot of people in their post breakup makeovers are like, I wanna feel sexy again. I'm hot, I'm single, I'm on the market and I wanna bring out the cleavage. And then instead there's me and I'm like, I'm gonna go for like four year old chic with some front bangs and overalls. Like that is the single energy I'm putting into the universe is essentially the stay away vibe. I'm not putting out the feelers of like, come hit on me. I wanna feel good about myself. I'm putting out the feelers of like, stay away. I'm happy with my dogs and my cat, even though she wakes me up at 6 a.m. If you thought I was joking about my like breakup leading to my obsession with overalls, um, I'm not joking. These are all the overalls that I've collected over the past few months. This is like a collective, let's try on clothes together. I mean, this stuff has been purchased over the last like six months or so. I've had to gather a lot of new clothing into my life, uh, like this weather appropriate puffer vest, because you know, when I went from living full time in the desert to living 50% of the time in the desert and 50% of the time in rainforest, you best believe those are very conflicting for my, my skin, my hair and my wardrobe. Uh, very different weather conditions. So I was like, shut. 
Why does this puffer vest excite you every time I pick it up? Every time I pick this, every time. He loves the puffer, I don't know. I think he thinks I'm going to take him on a walk. That's probably what it is. I like really just did not have weather appropriate clothing. Neither did my mom. We're talking shoes. Chunky knits didn't exist in my closet. Uh, long sleeves, turtlenecks, who were they? I didn't have anything. So I needed to get a new vest, a new jacket, and so I got this puffer vest. Some of these clothes are from ThreadUp, some of them aren't. I will go through everything as I try everything on. This was from Aritzia, it is the Super Puff vest. Um, I would highly recommend both in the jackets and the vests. Sizing down, I got a triple extra small in the jacket, and I would have in the vest, but it's been back ordered for months and I just happened to walk into the store and somebody had returned this from an online purchase and it was the color I wanted, the style I wanted. It was just one size bigger, it's a double XS. So I would recommend if you want a super puff, definitely size down. Um, so, okay, these overalls, I'm obsessed. These ones I got on Fred Up and let me get the deets for you because i know you want the deets these are lucky brand overalls and they were originally 129 and i got them for the thread up price of 49 43.99 43.99 <laughs> even, even better less. than i thought <laughs> also i'm like fairly certain that the person who owned these before me was the exact same height as me and cut them to fit her legs because it's like a frayed bottom and they fit me perfectly don't sniff my crotch on camera my god <laughs> Over here, come over here, over to the bed. Lay with your brother Gallop. Okay, I swear to God, Gallop and Ben must be so confused about their family like lineage because like half the time I say they're brothers and half the time I say Gallop's his grunkle. Both are kind of true though, you know? But I can imagine it's very confusing for them. Um, so yeah, kind of obsessed with these. They're like this nice kind of light denim with rips in them. I love the back, oh, it's just such a vibe. And then this cardigan, I was gifted um, a gift card to American Eagle and I purchased this cardigan with it, and I think it's really freaking cute. Argyle is really in, color blocking is really in, and bright colors are really in. And this cardigan is serving like all three of those new trends. I am somebody who loves, I love researching trends. Like I like to know what's in because I can't see, like I can't look in store windows, I can't flip through magazines. So I like to watch tons of YouTube videos every time the season changes and it's a new year. And I find trends inspiring. I certainly don't like to follow all trends and I certainly don't care when somebody tells me it's out. Sometimes I care, sometimes I don't. I feel like it's like a fun way to experiment with what's already in your closet or just like decide on what interesting things you'd like to play with over the next little while. So like I said, I do want to be shopping more sustainably this year. So please comment some brand recommendations, ideally that are not fitness or lounge, because it is so easy to find sustainable fitness and lounge where it is very hard to find like proper everyday clothing. I did this video a few years ago reviewing some sustainable clothing brands and frankly didn't like any of them. So um, if you could send me some recommendations of brands to check out, would much appreciate it. Aritzia is a sustainable brand, which I love, um, but yeah, comment to let me know. Where are they? Where are they? Give me a second, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Another goal, when I move into my new place, whenever that might be, I'm learning uh, as I get older, to not stress about things that are not within my control. Say it with me. We are not going to stress about things that are not within our control. It is not within my control when my condo is ready for me to move in, so I am letting it go, releasing it to the universe, and trusting. But whenever that does happen, I have a rule for myself. I will have a set amount of hangers. And under 0% of circumstances, is Molly allowed to buy new hangers if she runs out? If I get gifted clothes, if I purchase clothes, something's gotta go, off to thread up to be sold, okay? That's the plan, so. Also, I'm a human, right? I'm gonna try to shop more sustainably. I'm gonna try to implement a lot of positive changes in my life over the next year. Single lady, new person, you know, all the vibes, but, I'm a human and I'm not perfect and I'm a work in progress and so are all of you. And it's okay to forgive yourself when you mess up, okay? It is okay to not be perfect and it is best to just not judge others and just support them on their journey, all right? We're just here to be supportive humans. Have you forgiven me for not clicking the camera on? Yeah, we missed like 10 minutes of me filming because my mom <laughs> forgot to hit record. Oops. Um, but I'm not salty, it's fine. I'll mm -hmm. just, uh, you can just treat me to a glass of wine later. Oh. 
there we go. I feel like I should give you an overalls fashion show because I think that's probably what you're all here for, so let's do it. More overalls, that is right. We are in a white pair of J brand overalls and these ones were also from ThreadUp originally. Say the price for us, me, while we all gasp in horror. $348. And you got them for $62.99. And like, gorgeous. You, they, they've never been worn, I swear to God. There's nothing wrong with them. I'm so in love with nobody but myself. Another one of my fashion goals. Where are they? Here they are with white ones. Oh, okay. Another one of my fashion goals is to only exclusively have black and white socks in my closet that are different, okay? So I don't have to worry about trying to like match my socks by feel every time I do the laundry. So the black ones I got um, from the brand Hue, I'll link them below. And they're like a little bit of a like slightly higher sock, like a slightly higher ankle, so I can feel them. And then I got the TNA from Aritzia no-show base socks in white. So they have a much lower ankle profile. I'm wearing a pair right now. I got two packs of each, and those are the only socks I own now to make my life as a blind person easier. So blind life hack, but also just human life hack to make your life simple. Also, another blind girl closet hack that makes life as a blind person easier, but also just life as a human easier. I have for years only bought bras that are in my skin tone, so I just know they go seamlessly under anything, unless the only time I have like a colored bra in my closet is if a brand or a boy gifts it to me. Comment if you how you feel about like boys gifting you lingerie, ladies. Let me know. I'm here for it. Let me know what you think. We are transitioning to a Los Angeles overall. Now these are from Fred Up. The top underneath is from Free People. I want to say the top was probably like $25. And these, Neveberg, can you read us the price? I will indeed. $89 and Molly Burke purchased them for $22.99. Wow, wild, so obsessed, such a cute fit. Uh, no, my legs are not shaved and no, they are not fake tanned and I'm not gonna apologize for being a pale, hairy woman because that's life. The ones that started it all, the ones that started the obsession, the Ziggy overalls from Free People. Now, I've been seeing a lot of people talk about these on social media lately, but I bought them before I heard anybody else talk about them. But if you've heard people talk about them who are sponsored, uh, they are just as good, if not better, than people are saying. Holy grail, obsessed, absolutely 100% worth it. If overalls were pajamas, it would be the Ziggies from Free People. They're literally that comfortable. Okay, so this is like my like cozy vibe. Like hoodies of any kind under overalls definitely my winter aesthetic this year. These are corduroy ones. The, both the sweater and the cords are from Aritzia. What more can I say? The outfit is fire. We love. Speaking of corduroy, I've kind of been obsessed with the fabric corduroy over the last year. And I want to show you a pair of cords I got on ThreadUp. These cords are so fire. They are a floral loose cord. They're scrunchy at the ankle, scrunchy at the waist, like truly can't get better. Once again, these are something that feels like I'm in pajamas or sweatpants, but I can go out in public and people are like, ooh, that girl be chic. She's looking put together. On ThreadUp, these are from Anthropology, and when they were sold in Anthropology, they were $129, and I got them for $79.99, and honestly, they are in literally brand Actually, new- Actually, $78.99. $78.99, yeah. and they are in literally brand new condition. Speaking of fun patterned pants, also a vibe. So I got another pair, and these are so comfortable. I feel like the cords are like the thicker material. They're like my rainforest fun pants. And then these ones are like a thin, silky, almost PJ-like material, and they're like my uh, desert pant. That's what they look like. Mama B, tell us about them. Okay, so they are, they've got Hollywood on them. Let me put the camera on them. There's Hollywood on them, there's palm trees on them, there's sunsets on them, which, you know, that's the famous study. They have leopard print. They have leopard print. And they are, I got them a size up. That's something I've learned about myself. I feel like over the years, you learn about like what you gravitate towards. So one thing I've learned is I love to size up a size. Size is just a number. It literally doesn't matter. I remember being in the change room probably like six months ago and the girl was like, oh, what size do you usually wear? So I told her 
and she grabbed it and I was like, oh, do you mind grabbing a size up? I just feel like this fits a little tight. And she's like, can I just say it's so refreshing that you're like confident and comfortable enough to go a size up? And I was like, what do you mean? It's, I'm literally just like getting the next size up to get the thing that fits the best. And she's like, you have no idea how many women come in here. And if I suggest sizing up at all, they're like so offended and they're like, well, this is my size, even if it doesn't fit them. The size is just a guide. Literally sizes change brand to brand material to material it literally doesn't matter so i love buying the size that is the most comfortable and often that is not the size that i'm technically by measurement so i love sizing up especially in a rigid material like something that doesn't have any stretch it just is easier to sit down in and i don't know about you but i have no time for standing jeans as i've been hearing them called lately no, if I'm spending money, I need to be able to sit and stand in my clothing item. So I went a size up in these and they actually fit like low waisted a little bit more versus I think they're originally supposed to be high waisted. And I freaking love it. It's so comfortable. I do literally feel like I'm in pajamas. And what are the, they were originally? Yeah, well, where do you hear this? Les Superb Printed Voyage Pants, $395. Thread a price, $46.99. That's literally robbery. That they is are gorgeous. robbery, okay? That's crazy. I love these. And seriously, like if you scour thread up, you can get, as is evident, such incredible prices. You can get those like higher end clothing brands that you've maybe always lusted after or dreamed of at prices that are way more uh, palatable. Speaking of rigid denim and sizing up and sustainability, this brand, Mappy, is definitely become like probably my new favorite denim brand. Um, I'll link them and as many of these things below as I can. They are like a wide leg denim. Now the thing with being hella petite is I do unfortunately have to get everything tailored. Pretty much all of my dresses and all of my pants always have to go to the tailor. I'm a regular, she knows me at this point. Um, and that adds a lot of cost. So. My petite girls, if there is specific brands, preferably sustainable, but also I understand that sustainability often comes at a premium price point. So I'm also open to reviewing other brands that offer petites because people don't understand the struggle. Like it is very expensive to get things tailored and not everybody can afford to do that. Especially then when you're buying from a sustainable brand, which are often expensive. So please let me know like if I can be of service, if I can help, um, spend my own money and my time researching and trying brands that offer petite sizing to let you guys know what the quality is like, if it's worth it, how it fits on a petite body, please let me know because the 411 struggle is so real. Um, but yes, I just got these back from the tailor, so I haven't worn these yet. Everybody is obsessed with the Mappy jeans that I always wear on my Instagram. These ones. Those ones, everybody's always asking me where they're from. And these are from that same brand. Like I said, they are a sustainable company. So check them out if you're in the market for some denim. One of my mom's favorite pieces <laughs> that I got on ThreadUp is this opening ceremony dress. Opening ceremony is very much one of those like cool LA hype beast, New York City kind of girl energy. And I guess I'm serving that in this look. I feel like I would do this with like some white sneakers, a cool black bag, loving it. It's just super comfortable to be honest. Again, we love comfort. It's just loose, it's long, I don't have to worry about my booty falling out. It's great. And wait, what was the price on this mom? Again, this was crazy. amazing. Okay, this is an amazing price. Opening ceremony, it is $286 and thread a price $99.99. I mean, you couldn't do better. Can't beat it. And if you're not gonna wear it, I'll wear it. Another pair of denim that I got that I need to go get tailored is these ones from Free People. Now these are not gonna be everybody's cup of tea. They're like a light, the denim isn't light in color. It's light in texture, it's like a thin denim. They're pleated and they're like super raw hem, very, very wide legged. But I think these are so chic. And honestly, after years of being in leggings, sweatpants, pajamas, and onesies, tight denim just isn't my vibe anymore. I just can't do it. So. I have been slowly but surely kind of upgrading to a wider leg, looser fit. I know that technically skinny jeans are like out. I do have a couple pairs of skinny jeans that I do love, like my Madewell ones that I got a while back last year, I think, a year or two ago. But I do genuinely actually just find the wide leg denim way more comfortable. So if you're hesitant, 
just give it a try because once you feel how comfortable it is, you might be like, mm, I'm reconsidering my opinion. Speaking of wearing like sweatpants and loose clothes and being comfortable and kind of overalls vibe, this I got a lot of questions on when I wore it on Instagram. This green and cream checkered romper jumpsuit. My mom got the same one in gray. We're twinning in both our puffer jackets and our one pieces and our Bessies. It's a lot, but we're here for it. Um, this was also from Free People. I believe it's called the Hot Shot Jumpsuit or One Piece Onesie. I'm not sure. Something that I've decided to do from here on out, I decided this a few months ago, is to stop purchasing, like aside from when I'm doing a review or like making content for you guys about it, for me personally in my wardrobe is to stop purchasing inexpensive clothing. And that might sound strange, but what I've come to realize is I will always 100% of the time reach for my more high quality piece. And I'd rather have less of them, but higher quality because I've realized acrylics, like really, really low quality acrylics make me sweat like a beast. And I'm not somebody who even sweats. Like I'm working out with my personal trainer. I'm doing my squats. I'm lifting my weights. I'm doing all the things. And she's like, how do you never break a sweat? This is ridiculous. I am pedaling. I am pedaling on the bike. No sweating. But when I put on a, a low quality acrylic knit, I'm like dripping, dr like dripping down the sides. Okay. So between how it makes me just feel and the fact that I know that I'm just always going to reach for something that is higher quality and long lasting, even I found with literally with hangers, where, where, where are my hangers? Even hangers. I have noticed the inexpensive hangers that I purchased, they snap they twist, they break, this part falls off. Like it's kind of ridiculous. And though you feel like you're saving money up front, you're oftentimes ending up spending more in the long run because you have to just replace these things. They fall apart in the wash, they break, whatever, what have, what have it be, what be have it. <laughs> whatever that phrase is. Um, so that's a decision I've made. And I've also made the decision to stop buying basics. Another thing that sounds really strange but I've realized that I used to have this mentality that it's so hard to find basics. So when I find them, I have to buy them. Well, guess what? Now I have a ton of plain white and plain black things. I've got the basics, Molly. You have them. They're there. They're not going to run out anytime soon. So like you, you're fine. Um, so that's a commitment I'm making to myself. And I'm also making the commitment to stop buying things that don't go with other things in my closet because it's okay to love something and walk away from it. Uh, if I find something that I love, but I know that I would have to then buy other pieces to make that piece work, it's not worth it. I only wanna like, buy pieces that I know I can style tons of different ways. You might be looking at this and being like, Molly, you can style that tons of different ways. You might not think you can, but in my brain, absolutely. Like this with this cream sweater under it, so cute with this under it so cute with a white t-shirt under it so cute like i absolutely feel like i can style these so many different ways and i'm just really craving color i feel like in my post breakup world i just need like brightness and color and vibrancy because it truly is a mood booster they call it the dopamine fashion dopamine dressing dopamine trend whatever you want to call it that's what it is color brings joy and after a breakup, I need joy in my life. And so um, my, my clothing and my fashion has always been something that is extremely important to me. It's a form of self-care for me. It is a form of self-expression. And right now my fashion is helping heal me. It's helping bring me joy. And I hope this video helped bring you joy. <laughs> Thank you to ThreadUp for sponsoring this video. And don't forget to use code MOLLY for 60% off, up to 60% off plus free shipping on your first ThreadUp order linked down below. You will not regret it. I mean, girl, look at some of the deals I got. Literally wild. When I was sharing my overalls with you guys, I forgot these ones because I just have too many. These were also from ThreadUp, though originally from my new love, Free People. They have tons of free people on ThreadUp. These ones were originally 108, but I got them for $26.99. Speaking of color, let's end this with a bang. I got a lot of questions about this stunning color block sweater when I wore it in my I've changed video. And this is from Anthropology for anybody wondering. And this combines all of my loves, color, one piece, denim, comfortable. It's serving all of it for me. And as a petite girl, I almost never find like 
jumpsuits, like boiler suits in particular, that fit well. But I feel like this is as good as good as it gets. This was also from Free People. Can you tell I recently discovered a new favorite store? Cause I did. So that's where I'm gonna end it. This is this is what I'm leaving you with. I had a lot of fun filming this. I truly feel like I was just hanging out with my girlfriends, chatting about life and love and fashion and um, I'm here for it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this too, this fun little girly chat. Stick around because another video coming your way in a few days. Okay, I love you guys. And until next time, you can click here to watch my breakup video if for some reason you haven't seen that yet. Or you can click over here to see my fun birthday celebration where I got a new piercing. You can meet some of my friends, all the fun things. Love you guys and I'll see you next time. Sending you love.